Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us, but may not matter to you. <laughs> Last subject excluded, by the way. <laughs> um, we will never be talking about that on the air. No, we no, we no, we won't. Oh we're God. Gonna, <laughs> we're going to talk about some of our favorite media that we love to enjoy over and over again. The way yeah. you, the way you look through Netflix and just watch The Office again. Yeah. We have that. Except we have that. It's yeah. different things. It's we know who you are. Uh, <laughs> but before we know who you are, we know who you are. But before we do that, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Hell Desert. Yeah, y- you guys should put that. That should be the tagline. No, I'm not selling that. Cosmic Comics. Yeah, uh, what? He needs to buy that from us. That's what you're not going to sell it to him, but he needs to buy it from us. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Well, yeah. I you mean you're not going to give it to him? Right. He needs to buy. He it needs from to buy it from us for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, oh, anyway, show. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have everything your nerdy heart could desire, right. including but not limited to comics, right? right? Back issues. Posters with Morbius on it. Oh, what? That awesome movie, Morbius? His, oh, yes, his that... first appearance in Spider-Man 101. <laughs> yes, the character from the movie that broke brought box office records at one trillion tickets. What? Did it? It did. Ooh. What? It did. Gross. Anyway, we... Really? <laughs> Get out of here. We'll have to talk about that at some other episode. <laughs> April, April let's just watch Morbius and, and, and talk about it. Right. Um, anyway. This won't even air until next week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we do uh, comics, lanyards, action figures, apparel, anything your nerdy heart could desire. Right. And if it's not here, we can likely get it for you. That's right. Yes. We, can be, we can be your guy. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can get that. I got a guy. I got a guy. And your guy is Tony. That's right. Your guy is uh, Daikaiju guy. Tony. Uh, who is also one of the staff, one of our knowledgeable right. staff. So if you cannot find it, be sure to talk to one of them, and they'll be more than happy to help you. All right. Enthusiastically help you. Okay. So, no. like, uh, like comfort food, sometimes we watch the same media yeah. over and over and over again, right? right. Like, yes. Everyone does it. Like you watch The Office, you watch Friends. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> God, I'm not that old. So. <laughs> you don't have to be. I've seen plenty of... Children wearing friends t shirts, yeah, yeah. so I don't know, either they don't know what it is or they're people love that show, that's or they sure. do somehow. It's not a bad show. I watched it's, it when I was it's, younger. It's wa- I, I always found friends watchable, but I would not go out of my way to watch it. Does that make sense? Right, I could watch it, I could laugh, I could be entertained, but like literally, I was just like. Once it's off, it's like I have no reason reason to revisit right. it, rewatch so, it. So you watched it, and you just haven't watched it. That Would you say it was just hard for you to pivot back? No, I, I would say that when I was with somebody for a couple of years, we would just watch the show. I and then once both we were not joke. together, probably, yes. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what you said. Oh, I said, okay. I said okay. pivot. I still forget it. Forget it. Forget oh, for, it. It's fine. I'll explain it to you later. Yeah. I, I, people out there know. That's what's important. Okay. But there's a reason why we keep going back to these things. Is it a they, friends thing? Is that what you did? Yes, it is. It's okay. a friends joke. Yes. It's nerd. People, people use it all the time. We it's go fun. back to a figure that brings dopamine to our brains. Yeah, right. it makes us feel nice. And you know what? Sometimes you just put it on for like background or right. whatever, and it's just something that you can work through. Right. So we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to go right. uh, pretty quickly through a few of the things that we like to rewatch or yep. replay mm-hmm. or reread or what have you. Yep. Yes. So who wants to start? Hmm. Um, well, are we going to take this long to decide who wants to uh, start? I'll I'll start. I'll oh, okay, start. fine. Okay. You, you go. Okay, I'll let you start. My big one is uh, there's one game that I revisit a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a shame because the company that put out the game really doesn't support it a lot. It doesn't seem like they give it a lot of support. It's not there. Do you make games anymore? It's a, Oh, yeah. It's a newer game. It's newer than the game they do support a lot. <laughs> but um, anyway, let me just put it out there. It's Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, mm. Rockstar. Um, uh-huh. And on the online one. They're and not making Even the online version. Oh, this is the online They just version. don't. I mean, the online version exists. It's still running, of course. But they just, it doesn't seem like they put the effort into it like they do. With GTA with Online. GTA online. Yeah. Um, uh, and GTA Online's gotten better. But, I mean, as far as just. As far as a game I like to revisit for no other reason than because the world is so big and because it it's it 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 scratches that itch of just wanderlust because 
you know, living situations and things like that. They just don't get to wander the countryside on horseback. Did, you don't think so, I want to just jump on a horse right, right. and ride off well, into nature? And that's exactly yeah, why. Exactly. I, that's exactly why I revisit it. Do out of bears? Because like you, yeah, you can literally. I mean, I <laughs> can did, you do that? I did it the other day. Um, I just I jumped on and I played for like four hours and all I did was wander. I was around just gonna say, did you just I ride fished, the horse everywhere? And I hunted and I rode my horse and just yeah, just stuff like that. Isn't that sad? You I know, think the I, Simpsons predicted I that think too. I, yeah, I think I hunted down one bear. Bounty, like just for I haven't done a bounty in a while. I'll do a bounty, maybe you know, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's you know, just it's just great. This, it's just a huge, massive world. The Simpsons predicted the story's that. good too. Yeah, do you remember yeah. the episode where they? I think they went to uh, some sort of convention. Oh, really? And uh, uh, Bart was doing virtual chores. <laughs> remember? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I think Marge had made some comment about him, like you know, yeah. if you want, you can do chores at home. He's like, eh. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> He's just like doing like virtual <laughs> chores. It's the same thing, right? It's like yeah. it was the but, game. But it's the game in Rick and the, Morty, Earl, or what is it? The <laughs> Uh, where they live the life. Oh, where they, Roy? I think Roy, it's like, Roy. Roy, Roy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Where they just live like the mundane life of right. a guy. And then he <laughs> dies from just falling off a ladder. By... That's how Morty played him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was like, you died? You went back to work after cancer? Yeah. Game. <laughs> and then like, yeah, and then Rick jumps in and he's just like, oh my gosh, this guy's taking Roy off, off the, the grid. grid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same thing. No, but you know what? I understand that. It's like yeah. it's like when you play D and D, right? When you play D and D, you always have money. Yeah. You speak multiple languages. Yeah, yeah. You travel everywhere and all the time. And when people really piss you off, you can kill you them. Can just <laughs> cut their head off. You can cut their head off with yeah. little to no consequence. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Doesn't matter that you have like better shooting mechanics than GTA Five. I wouldn't exactly know. Since better, better what? Shooting mechanics. Since I haven't played GTA Five in a while. Um. I mean, like it's better, like. To shoot while moving on a horse than in GTA than yeah, trying to I, do I, a drive by. I think the thing with I think the thing with Red Dead is you have to spend time with the weapon. Like if you if you're really good with the weapon, there is a screen you can go to, I just forget where it is. But if it's like a new weapon, you yeah, you won't shoot for shit. Also it just seems like it's more <laughs> accurate because yeah. don't a, don't tell me don't ask me how I know this. Uh, <laughs> you're not going for pinpoint accuracy in a drive by, you're going for accuracy by volume. That, that's right. true. That, yeah, that's you're true. Just, yeah, the point is just to shoot everywhere and you hope know, like, to hit something. You know, like one thing I think is much stronger in Red Dead versus <laughs> for, yeah. <laughs> One thing. <laughs> I might have jumped into one a car thinking it was my lift, and I was pleasantly surprised. Right, right. One thing I like I like in Red Dead versus uh, GTA Online, like for instance, if you're in GTA Online, you just made a batch of cocaine, you're going to deliver it for some cash, right? As you do, right, right. Somebody in a fighter jet, you don't even see, boom, you're done. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, yes, what? Yeah, you're done. You, you, you get you're just done. jumped on by any random player. You make, and, you make yeah. a wagon full of moonshine. If they're coming at you, they're on horseback, and they have the same friggin' weapons you have, and it's mm. a fair fight. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, and if they want to mess with you, they can just. Molotov I mean, how you. fair is it though? It's just you against what, like a gang of six dudes or seven it dudes? It could or something? be. Is that? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty tough. But I mean, you know, mm. if it's just one guy. Well, you have the power like one, to slow down, right? Like, yeah, the, the slow down ability or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like one guy tried to steal my load. I think I was. I think I was. I think it was Moonshine. He was trying to. He like shot me out of nowhere. And yeah. of course, I respawn and just freaking <laughs> just met, burned him. I think. Wow! I shot him, and he jumped off the wagon and tried to run away from it to shoot at me. And I just fire bottle, fire bottle, dynamite. <laughs> He's just like he did you not come blew back. This guy up. He did not come wow. back. Yeah, he did not. Come okay. Back. okay, sounds okay. more balanced than yeah. GTA Online. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. if they're coming at you, they're also on horseback. There's no. There's no fighter jets. I feel like we just gave people who do drive-bys <laughs> like an idea of like, yo, what if we just use dynamite oh, instead oh. of bullets? Is, that, is it even legal to buy dynamite? Okay, don't ask. No, don't, 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 don't ask that. Do they even sell dynamite like in the red things Car- anymore? Yeah, like the you, red cylinders? For like they do in cartoons? Cons- no, in construction and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, so not the cartoon type. That what about like the, the big, the big black I, I don't even know with if they, like the fuse? I don't even know if they would sell it like dynamite anymore. I don't even know how they demolition mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, I know how the military does it, or at least how they used to do it. Right. But well, it's, it's anyway, like not in cowboy games. times. You can just go to the general. <laughs> anyway, store that's and buy yeah. That's my dynamite. thing. Is yeah. Oh, you actually have to get dynamite from a fence, I believe. Oh, okay. You so even you then, can't you can't buy it in the general store. store. Yeah, oh, you got to buy it from a fence. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, that's, do you, uh, that's my big revisit. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want me to go next? Sure. Sure. Uh, I have a couple of things. I have a lot of things that I usually go back to to rewatch. But the ones that I want to talk about today are things that people have not – I've talked to people and they have not watched. And the first one is the IT crowd, if anyone has heard of it. Yeah. You, know, yeah. Mm. you I don't know, like I it? Could, it's not that I don't like it. I just never could get into it. I mean, I like it, but it was just like, eh. 
What 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 part of the silly show could you not get into? I think the silly a, part? I think it was a little too silly, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Like people were a little too it was like hyper dumb. It's fine. I, I thought it, it was I great. It. Yeah, I would didn't want to. I would didn't Matt, wanna, Matt Barry. Matt Barry is fantastic. Matt, yeah, he Matt plays uh, he plays Laszlo yeah. in uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Right, if anyone's right. seen that, but uh, I, think I think that show is I think that show is hilarious. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. The, the episode yeah. with my the, daughter loves it. Yeah, the episode with the internet is particularly good. <laughs> um, and then the other one is one we talked about yesterday, which is Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Oh, love that show. I watch that maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Every six to eight year. months, I'll, I'll rewatch it again, and it's all on YouTube if you want to check it out. Yeah, it's free on YouTube. You can watch the entire season for in it's, like two it, hours. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like what six episodes? Yeah, something like that, and they're, they're about twenty minutes each. Yeah, it's not like it's a big time investment. And it's, yeah, and it's genius. Right, and Matt Barry is also in that. Yeah. Like a lot of Matt Barry love coming from me here, Mr. Right. Jackie Daytona, but. Um, Loot Doctor Lucius Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Sanch. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I really enjoy those shows quite a bit. They're both yeah. They're both British shows, so hopefully you're into British humor. But uh, I highly recommend checking out Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Nice, yeah, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. And I believe the IT crowd is either on Netflix and Hulu or one or the yeah. other. Yeah, it's usually streaming um, somewhere. But I thoroughly enjoy. It. I, I usually watch it, or I'll just put it on and it's like background noise while I clean or something like that. So cool. What you got? Oh, All gosh. Right. Look yeah. at the smile on his okay, face. Okay, well, I would have to... So, okay, so this isn't something that oh, I have... Oh, we're not even recording. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Oh, I would have gone home. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay, I would have to briefly mention this because it, I haven't been really going back to it as much as I used to when it came out on Blu-ray. Uh, Pacific Rim... Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Wow. When it came out on Blu-ray and DVD, I'd probably watch it religiously. <laughs> I bought it. I bought it the day it came out on DVD. Yeah, same here. Pacific Rim. I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. I, I'm kidding. Yeah. I love that. You movie. better be. <laughs> okay. Um. No, no. But, Pacific Rim Two, dude. No, that's where it's at. Get, 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 you know get that crap out of my face. It's not terrible. Yes, it it's is. It's just not good. Yes, it is. It's, 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 it's very forgettable. It's insulted. Then I, why would I buy it? Yeah. Okay. Um. But for something that I've been watching, probably. Maybe once or twice a month. Ever since I was like, oh my gosh, wow! I'm I don't want to. Okay, mainly once a month. Mainly, maybe since I was I want to say five or six. Well, what is it? The Sam Raimi Spider Man trilogy. Oh my oh, god! Wow. Yeah, all three, huh? Yes, all three, especially Spider Man three. I just yeah. think you 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 have an unnatural love for Spider Man. Hey, to be I, fair, I never hated Spider Man. Yeah. Right, but I've never met anyone who has great. loved yeah. Spider Man three more than There's you. There's too much going on. I just think. Those three movies are like the pinnacle of what superhero movies should be. They're cinema. They're mm. they're film. Yes. Yeah. Like the performances, <laughs> the cinematography, the shot compositions, the soundtrack. Yeah. I think that's where Sam Raimi always excels. I think he gets cinema probably better than most guys like Scorsese. Most movies. I mean, I'm not saying Scorsese is a slouch. Don't get me wrong. I love Scorsese though. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think I think Sam Raimi understands like the heightened reality that cinema is supposed to be. Right. Yes. It's just too bad that 3 was not good. Hey. Uh, I, I like it. Uh, I never hated it. There are just problems with it. There's problems with it. But it's too much going on. I honestly can't get into it. It still feels like a solid film. I, I, yeah, I watched it the first time, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's not bad. And then I remember watching it again, like, no, I don't like this. I don't like what this is. <laughs> so Certainly too much going on. Yes. I mean, but, it's better than no, Amazing right. Spider-Man 2. Oh uh, yeah, Amazing, yeah. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man Two I, was bad. I, well, oh, I, I have a soft spot for that movie just for like certain two, parts. Yeah, just for certain scenes. Oh. Mainly, I mean that Green Goblin action. was spot on though, right? Uh, Can we agree on the Green Goblin being spot on? He just looks sick. He just looks sick, he guys. Looks, and and we don't mean that like he's sick, bro. No, no, no. no. he looks physically he looks, ill. He looks like, tummy sick. He looks like he's yeah. He yes. looks like he's dying of some kind of yeah. stomach. He looks like he, he looks you, like he ate <laughs> bad shrimp. <laughs> right. He looks like he could give you herpes by just looking at him. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, my goodness, like. And you watch uh, this uh, once a month? month. I mean, if you do, cool. Occasionally, occasionally one of the movies once a month. Okay. If you do, cool. But not, but not, like, not, I not marathoning him. I don't I, know that I, I could little, watch something like that like I, once a month. Last time I marathoned it was when No Way Home was coming out, just because, you know, Tony McGuire is going to be in that movie. Hmm. But And whenever the movie's anniversary were to happen, I'd uh, watch the trilogy as a whole. Um, and I, whenever I'd watch Spider-Man 2 in one of those special days, I'd, you know, just get pizza. And when Tony McGuire says the pizza time, yeah. huh? I'd say, pizza time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You, got me. you heard me. <laughs> what, did, what did you I say? said? The Menzies. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Pizza and, time. and it's just Pizza time. I, just the culture or the the cult surrounding the Sam Raimi Spider Man trilogy on the internet where you'd see God, God knows how many memes of yeah. the Sam Raimi Spider Man trilogy <laughs> and true. how many YouTube poops are out there that my <laughs> I didn't know this movie had such a subsect of people <laughs> worshipping who... it. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I never found I, I do like those, but I never found them definitive. Oh, mm. I do. I do. Yeah. Wow. Um yeah. And for the second uh, movie series, well, two movies that I, you know, whenever I can, I'd watch it and either have it in the background or I'd watch it while drinking certain substances. Um, Something. Certain substances. Um, certain substances. The two Venom movies. <sighs> yeah. And, like, wow. M- Eminem's Ve- Venom. It's my favorite M- Eminem song of all time. <laughs> all right. un- unironically <laughs> all right. your face just now <laughs> these two movies Listen, are your face just now is how I feel on the inside <laughs> the, the two better movies yeah, on their own right, yeah. they're like major <laughs> adrenaline rushes they're like I, I hated the first one I, really, I didn't watch the second one I really didn't like the first they're one they're major shit post movies that I could enjoy for what they are, even well, especially the second one. The second one, big throwbacks to the schlocky era of Venom comics, and the I got to I got appreciated for that. Mm. Okay. okay. Yep. Soundtrack by Marco Batrami, the ultimate um, early two thousands soundtrack oh, uh, composer who did the soundtrack Mu- of the first Resident Evil movie, Ooh. I believe. But yeah, he does Carn- music from the early two. He does Carnage's theme oh, yeah. song. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's one of those movies, and again, Venom also has a big cult following that, you know, I don't want to give too much, but basically, big Reddit forums, big meme threads on Twitter, worshipping Venom. Yeah. Uh, we're not, we're not, I just, it's, I love lean. your thing. Yeah. Okay. yeah I love Lean. Thing. I don't care who else loves um, it. <laughs> you love who? L- lean. It's a, it's a Venom meme thing. I didn't even know oh, it was a thing yeah. until following. You lost me. Until following the Ven- Lean is basically cough syrup mixed with orange grape soda, and the memes, the meme is. That's not scissor. I don't. Well, I don't want to overexplain. Or scissor cough syrup. I think scissor scissor as they call it is like cough syrup and something else. It's called lean, but well, mm, it's called scissor. But <laughs> what I when I heard of it, and that was years ago. But, so but, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep calling them scissor. So basically, became a venom meme, and yeah, like venom. Even without all the memes <laughs> and shit posts, they're still enjoyable superhero movies, and they're like way more enjoyable than a majority of the MCU movies. And that's why they're movies I can either play in the background and enjoy for what they are or watch Let There Be Carnage All right. wearing, de- being decked out in Carnage clothing. And yeah. And don't you forget it. Okay. Don't you forget it. My, my background of choice. <laughs> <laughs> my background films of choice are very bad movies. Yeah, courtesy of Rift Tracks and MST3K. I can watch some of Classic them without the Rift Tracks. Like I, I think I've watched I've watched um, Bloodsport an, an unnatural <laughs> amount of times. <laughs> okay, I think I've seen really it more movie. than people than other people have. Like people will be like, "Yeah, I, I've seen it a couple of times." Like, no, I've seen it a bunch, and it's not that I was trying to see it a bunch. Yeah. I just have somehow. Um, now, for Mike, Bill, and Kevin, and Mary Jo, and 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 Bridget. Mm-hmm. They just they make me feel comfortable. Now, oh. for r- movies that Rift Tracks would yeah. talk about and cult movies like those or like movies that you'd watch and shudder, those movies I would have to pay attention to a lot to fully appreciate it. Really? Yeah, like... Mm. I watched so much Rift Tracks over the last couple weeks. <laughs> like, let's see. It was like a non-stop loop let's once, see. I, was, once well, I was no, done like, with well, Superman. <laughs> well, I can't Ew! Really, I can't, I can't, I can't the really, animated series. Oh. I can't really watch Solo anymore. Um, I'm, Which one? I'm, no, no, I'm thinking of movies like... Cult horror more? movies, yeah, uh, art movies that like I could watch in the in the background. I can't really think of any because usually I would have to like pay attention to them to fully appreciate it. Like, certain, yeah, certain movies I certainly don't watch as background noise just for that reason. Like, you know, like yeah. I won't watch the th- I won't have the thing on because I just want it in the background because no, you gotta I need pay to watch to that something. movie. Right. And I've actually limited myself to once a year so that I really want to see it that right. once a year. That's what I do with. Godzilla movies nowadays yeah. because I'm surprised neither of you said Godzilla. It, well, it's well, the same reason. Like he just said, I want to watch them. I don't right. want to. I don't want to just like, sort of forget about. Well, them. I mean, so, they, but to be fair, some of the late Showa Godzillas though are more background movies. I mean, here's the thing: like <laughs> this is a list of just things yeah. that bring you comfort, so you right. don't necessarily have to be in the background, or you could right. just be like actively watching it. Yeah. Like They Live, I could watch They I Live. I've, too, I've watched yeah. that movie so many times; right. it's insane. It's Reanimator, I've watched that movie so many times. Yeah. It's a good one too. I should just Ride limit it to Halloween, but I haven't watched that one. I uh, watched that. Have you seen Solo? 
Which one? Oh. Solo and uh, 120 <laughs> Days. Nope. Okay. No. Never mind. Okay, good. I, I, I just bought that movie on Criterion, so yeah. I know. I haven't seen it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a cult movie. It's an art film. It exists. Okay. What? Okay. So what's your other comfort stuff before we get out of here? Did you have more you said? What? No, not really. Oh, you already said it. I, yeah. yeah, I already oh, said okay. it. I mean, all the yeah. stuff I can think of, I already said it. Yeah, well, I, well, when I brought up Godzilla, like, I used to watch Godzilla movies mundanely and routinely, kind kind of, but, like, at a certain point, like, whenever I feel like putting on a Godzilla movie, I'm like, okay, I already, I already seen Astro Monster, like, 50 times, I already know yeah. what's going to happen, I'm like, and I don't even that know actually, what to watch. For some reason, about six, seven years ago, I got on a kick where I was, if I didn't have anything to watch, I'd just put on the thing. Mm. And I actually got a little bored of it. I'm like, yeah, I ain't watching this for a whole year. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Like, you can't just I love watch this movie. It as often, I can't yeah. not. Yeah. And since you know, yeah. you can watch Godzilla movies on the big screen at G Fest. Like I've, I like, I feel like I shouldn't really watch any of these movies, given that I could like watch these on giant fucking screen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and certain movies I always watch a certain time of year. Like, yeah. Around Fourth of July, I always watch Jaws. Oh, oh always yeah. Watch Jaws. I love Jaws. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. another movie I could sit yeah. and watch. Christmas, Jaws. I watch Anytime. Batman Returns. Yeah. Uh, Usually around September is the Godzilla Festival, and then October is, you know, certain scary movies where it is my once-a-year thing thing. Right. That's <laughs> for sure when I watch Reanimator. Yeah. Like, it'll yeah, be sparse, be, but for sure in, in beyond, October, yeah. I'll, watch, I'll watch Reanimator again. Yeah. You know what? So uh, like horror movies. <laughs> we do a lot of movies. And I'm a, uh, Real quick, um, about once a year, mm-hmm. I usually end up reading all of the Icewind Dale trilogy again because wow. I have it like the thick... I have like the big thick book with all three yeah. story, the first three stories in it, yeah. and I just I usually end up reading that about once a year. Yeah. I yeah. do I do Lord of the Rings about once every two years. Yeah, comics that I've it's been, a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Comics that I've been going back to, maybe well, maybe, well, I, I just got them recently. It was the Venom Epic Collections and the Carnage oh, Epic Collection. Okay. Because you know the, it's Venom and Carnage. Uh, thanks to the recent Disney Star Wars movies, I've revisited uh, <laughs> what I consider to be the last great Star Wars. Media and that's the Ewoks, th- the original Thrawn trilogy. Oh, oh, okay. The what Thrawn trilogy? The, the, Thrawn? the books. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, the book. Oh, the guy Thrawn. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, I'm like, <laughs> I thought you were talking about four, five, and six, and I'm like, wait, no, what, no. what version of Thrawn? Right. Seven, eight, nine. No, the Thrawn well, trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the last I, actual great Star Wars media. Wow. Well, and I, I did watch the prequel trilogy this weekend. So, you know. There's a lot of bad there, but there is a lot of good there, too. Mm, it's well, not well, enough good there, to make what, me revisit what them. About the There's Ewoks things movies. about them I really like. I'll take the, the original. Ewoks movies, Listen, Caravan of Courage. Those I'll take are awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'll but take you know, they feel like Star Wars, so I'll give them I'll, that. I'll take the prequels over the sequels. Something I don't think Disney gets. For sure. Yes. For sure. If the, I had to pick my mode of torture, the sequels I'd be over like, the yeah, prequels. the prequels for sure. The I would, prequels over the sequels, I'll take the prequels yeah. over the sequels Same for here. sure. But if given the choice, I'm not going to watch the prequels again either. I, they're not you know, that I good. Actually, they're not that I actually good like the pod race. I think it's cool. There's Listen, um, I'm with you. There's a lot of good stuff in yeah. that. And this is a whole other topic, but there's a lot of good yeah, stuff yeah. in that yeah. in that prequel. Not enough for me to rewatch it again. <laughs> I grew up with them, I except maybe for the sand scene. I don't grow. There's things about. Them I don't right. think they're as cringy as people make them out to be. I could I could watch them without feeling any urge you in know, my heart. So. Attack of the Clones. There's something you have to do to make that a much more enjoyable movie. And literally, any time Padme and Anakin oh. are on screen together, just skip the scene. Except Ooh. when they're by the lake, because that's when he says sand. That's what. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. worth it. That that's one's the, worth uh, it. If he didn't have, if he didn't say the stupid sand line, yeah. that's that scene is not worth watching. No, either. it's the not. The world building. But every other time, just skip the scene, and, and it's a much better movie. The world building. Uh, the world. Building. I remember the first time I watched it, and he said the thing about the sand. I was like, oh no, crap, dude. I mean, I said the curse it's word. I don't want to curse. I don't want to curse. It gets me. Oh, really? Oh, man. I've always had positive positive experiences with sand. <laughs> well, I Idiot. Posting, so. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, well, it's not his fault. But. Um, <laughs> no, no. It's, no, no. It's definitely. I was going to say when. when Listen, when, I stopped blaming that guy for a second. It's not his fault. I never blamed that guy. I, yeah, when, when I was young. I was young. When, right? What's her name? When Natalie know Portman, better. when some of her scenes are cringeworthy, what chance did. What chance did Hayden Christensen have under exactly. Lucas? Exactly. Yeah. You know that's, what I mean? that's what I thought, too. Like, Natalie Portman is, like, a grade great A actress, actress, actress yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. she's a great A actor. Yeah. If even she looks terrible in this movie. There's some scenes movie, that are bad. Yeah. yeah. 
and it's got to be the movie. What, chance, cannot, yeah, yeah, what, what chance, chance did he have? <laughs> yeah, Hayden Christensen is not a tier. <laughs> yeah, but he's not bad. I mean, he's not he was, bad. He was good, he's in good in Jumper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love Jumper. I loved, I loved I, Jumper too. I, yeah. I watched Shattered Glass. I loved him in Shattered Glass. I thought he was I didn't great. See that one? Yeah. He was kind of like a Weasley journalist who plagiarized, or he didn't plagiarize. He made up a lot of articles and stuff. Yeah. Like he made them seem a lot more exciting. And then Buzzfeed. Once uh, people <laughs> started researching all the like all of his past stories, like they were like, no, this guy's a phony. He's full this of... guy's a big fat phony. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's just like this weasley little like dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> great in it. He's great in it. Yeah, but if he if she couldn't if she couldn't be good in those, yeah. what chance did he have? Anyway. Yeah. All yeah. right. Some of those yeah. lines are bad. Yeah. I do Some of her lines are bad. Yeah, it's just not a Thanksgiving, I do watch the original Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. Every okay. Thanksgiving. Did you ever get the Team Negative One version? No. Oh, okay. It's you never, the original theater. You have it, right? No. Oh. <laughs> never mind then. <laughs> never no, mind. it's illegal to have that copy. You're, yeah. Oh, I don't know what Star I was thinking. Wars. I'm sorry, my good man, for <laughs> what? For accusing you of crime. Okay, okay. <laughs> Prophecy of North Dame. <laughs> okay. Um no, but I do have what I do have is I have the the one of the DVD releases, the theatrical release, is actually on the special features. I have those. I have. Um, they're very grainy, though. That's the problem. I have the '95 VHS trilogy. Oh, that's good. That's which good. is before he started putting all the crap in it. Well, he did because he did the '97 version is the one where he started putting stuff in. It. Well, that's it? what I grew up with. Um, yeah. So I have the '95 like <laughs> triple VHS box. I have two of them. Yeah, I uh, had one. I had it a long time ago. I, grew I don't up. know how I'm gonna but watch I did, it. Yeah, I I got those DVDs. They're they're grainy, but they're the original theatrical oh, releases. Okay. Yeah. I grew up watching Hayden Christensen's head digitally added onto that whoever was playing Anakin Skywalker's ghost. Got the guy's name. Oh, at the end of the. Oh no, I thought it was just him because he's a much slighter fellow than than Sebastian, whatever his. Name oh no, was. but like in the special edition, they just George Lucas just digitally put Hayden Christensen's oh, head. Oh, I thought they, on top. was it his head? I thought he put, put his, his whole, whole body. body. No, no. Yeah. If you look at the shadows of the and the clothing, it matches hundred percent. I'm like, wow, that's why it looks a little unnatural. And he's like, that might have been an older one. I'm pretty sure he redid that because yeah. I didn't because I, when I watched the prequel trilogy, I had forgotten that he CGI'd Yoda over. The episode one instead of the puppet, the original puppet. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. It looked all weird. Yeah. Like he was like, what, that's supposed to be Yoda? It doesn't even look like Yoda. <laughs> so bad. So bad. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're kinda yeah. we're kinda way off. Okay, topic. is there any, any is there last, any other any yeah. last quick hits you guys wanna hit on? Mm. Not really. I pretty stuff. much went over yeah. I'll, watch uh, so okay. Robocop. I watch Robocop so, every few months. Oh yeah, Robocop's, yeah, Robocop's a once good. a year movie. So that's about it, really. During the darkest year, twenty twenty. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got into watching a lot of stuff on YouTube, and I am so late to the Angry Video Game Nerd Party. Oh. Because that's when I started watching it. Yeah. And I watched it from um, His. from season one season all the one. way to the most oh current God. at that point. Simon's I had nothing to do. Yes. Like when I was, well, I was either at work or not. And uh, so I had like, I literally had nothing to do. And I've met James Rolfe. Nice. So, my internet. I did. Open. I did watch a lot of anger video game nerd. He. They did something though in the middle of COVID, which I thought was odd, where they took like two months off, so they had like nothing, mm. and I kind of fell out of the habit of watching right. them. Um, and then you know, I I really like outside Xbox, outside Extra. Yeah. Um, but I, re- I really like. T- uh, is it? I think it's just called Eurogamer. Yeah. They're really yeah. good. But well, I mean, well, like, they they do like play alongs, and they're pretty. I, uh, I probably mispronounce her name. She's very Irish. Aoife, so Aoife, Irish. Aoife. she's. I, you got me. I don't even know. I don't even uh, know the channel. Good, so good channel. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Oh, but heck? I mean, like the reason I brought it up is because I, I watched it in 2020, and I like the whole thing. Yeah. Up until whatever was the most recent thing, and then I've rewatched it again last year, like the whole thing. Wow. Like, nice. It's still as entertaining as the first time. I think it's yes. a very, it's a it's a great I, I it's mean, a great channel. I like he taught me how to like swear. two or something. I. I you know, you Wait, can tell what? he like loves like he did like he was touring some of the locations of Planet of the Apes and stuff when they went to Yeah, he, he also does movies that and stuff. That stuff was yeah. really cool. Yeah. I have the, the Cinemasker stuff. The Cinemasker right? stuff yeah. is enjoyable too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just started watching that stuff now. So. I like this I like his Cinemasker stuff, especially the Halloween stuff. Yes. Monster Fest or whatever he yeah. calls it. Yeah. But uh yeah, like this is my second Monster go Madness. through Monster Madness. Well, this is my second go through on, on wow. Angry Video Game. I think I'm gonna watch it again probably sometime this year. Yeah. I don't know. And then Dungeon Craft, early Dungeon Craft. Oh, Dungeon good. Craft, yeah. When he um, was given tip, actual. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd like to mention YouTubers that I binge watch, but that'd be, that'd be, that'd be really plugging good. in at this point, so I'm not doing that. Oh. 
I mean, it's fine. Well, I mean, we're plugging, but matter, we're talking yeah. about things we like and watch, too. We're yeah. Not. All right. Binge it's watch Titan Goji America. Because you get to see oh, my... Now s- you're uh, plugging. Okay, well, now that's, that's a, a plug. plug. Yeah. That's a you plug, You see my sexy dude. ass in the, in the cameras. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. He mean, No, and he means it. Just It's just his butt. It's just yeah. his butt. Just his butt. Right in the camera. Yeah. yeah. I, I do goatsy stuff. I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there's a... Hold on that There's a name I haven't heard since a long time. Okay. A long time. But really, like, for real, Literally, the only, the only YouTuber that, that the, the only YouTuber that I binge time. are either <laughs> Justin Wang or James Rolfe, and that's really about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I but mean, like there's that, plenty of other stuff probably that we can mention, but yeah, there's, there's only a, so there's much time in the show. I found I have to tell you about it. It's um, well, Runehammer is really good too. Have you ever watched? Yes, any I of watched Runehammer. Yeah. But there's a new guy I found. His is pretty good too. It's like Dungeon Masters or something like that. Oh, I have no, I don't know what. That uh, is. I'll I'll have to, anyway, I'll we're getting off track. Let's get we're out of here. Track. All right, so uh, yeah, if, unless you guys have something else that you want to mention real quick, no, 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 good. Okay, no. cool, guys. Let us know what your favorite comfort show, book, movie, whatever it is. Whatever. Uh, Ooh, make sure to yeah. No, no, no. Make don't, sure to uh, put it down don't in the comments and let food. us know. Uh, maybe we might agree with some of this stuff. <laughs> don't you know comment. I mean? food. Oh, yeah, I know that. I, I didn't know think that of that is. at the time, but yeah, I do that too. Um, be sure to like or dislike, whatever you want. It's cool. Uh, and subscribe so that you get new videos to like and dislike at your leisure. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Good night. Uh, good night. That's right, Peter. I'm you, and you're me, and this is a god.